Welcome to day 41 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Dear and today we're going to try a very calming five finger breath. This week we're going to continue using our mindfulness techniques as a way of coming into the present moment, as a way of redirecting our focus, our attention, and of also just coping with the kinds of thoughts and feelings that might be coming up for us right now. You know, we're at a very strange point in time and it's very normal and natural to have a lot of mixed up feelings right now. As much as some of you might be really excited about going back to school, you might also be a little bit unsure and worried about what school is actually going to look like right now. You might have questions about the future and what that's going to look like. You might be missing your friends and feeling a little bit lonely and sad that you've not seen those friends. And at the same time, you might be happy to get some time on your own. So if you are perhaps feeling some things that don't feel very nice or having some thoughts that don't feel very comfortable, then the techniques that we're doing are hopefully going to help you to cope with them a little bit better, to, to be curious about them, even to make friends with them. Today then, I want to try a new breath and this is called the five finger breath or the hand breath and this is a great one to do if you are feeling a little bit worried because we use touch and action along with breathing so it just gives your brain a little bit more to cling on to. So what we're going to do is use a hand and we're going to start with our index finger next to our thumb and we're going to start here and as we breathe in through our nose we're going to come up we're going to pause here for a moment then as we breathe out and exhale we're going to come down here and then we're going to pause at the bottom here and we're just going to repeat that for five deep breaths now we have been working on belly breath on the diaphragmatic breathing so it would be really good too if when you do actually focus on your breath you try and remember that balloon filling with air in your stomach so that you're not breathing with your neck and your chest, you're actually breathing with your belly. Just do your best. All right, before we get going, let's make sure that we're nice and comfortable. You know me, I like to bring my shoulders up to my ears, squeeze, relax. <sighs> that feels good. And just make sure that you're upright and awake, but you're also relaxed and comfortable in your arms and shoulders. It's best if you've got your feet on the floor as well. Okay, raise a hand and take the index finger of the other hand, place it at the base of your thumb and breathe in through your nose. Pause at the top of the thumb and breathe out through the mouth. Pause at the bottom. And when you're ready, breathe in. Make sure you're focusing on the belly breath. And pause at the top. And breathe out through your mouth. Notice the touch of the skin at the same time. Pause at the bottom. And breathe in through your nose. And pause. And out through your mouth. And pause. And breathe in and pause and out and pause. Last one, breathe in through your nose, nice big belly breath, pause at the top and breathe out. How was that? Did the touch and the movement make any difference? If you compare that to other breaths that you've done in the past, did that feel better or worse, the same? Was that easier? Was it harder? Was it the same? 
take some pause time now to just discuss how that was for you with people around you or if you're on your own just take some thinking time you can even jot down notes if you wish off you go welcome back hopefully you enjoyed that breath today sometimes when we just focus on our breath there's a little bit of room left in our brain for it to carry on focusing on those thoughts that really don't make us feel good and so sometimes we can carry on with the really negative thoughts as we breathe in whereas when we use that breath because we've also got the touch and the movement to focus on our brain really doesn't have room for those thoughts so I find this breath to be really useful when my mood, my thoughts and emotions are really going downhill quite fast. That might not be the same for you, you might prefer some of the other breaths that we've done, but have a go at trying this breath when you are feeling worse and see if it makes a difference for you. In fact, that is your challenge for day 41, to use that breath at a moment later today. It might just be a moment when you decide you're going to use it, or it might be a moment where you've actually noticed that your mood is worsening. So the key is to notice that, try and give yourself a number on the feeling scale. So how am I feeling between 1 and 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst? Try the five finger breath, the hand breath, and then give yourself a number afterwards and see if it made a difference. Of course, you can extend that by sharing that with somebody nearby, telling them, you know, I felt my mood sliding downwards, I did this breath, here's what I noticed. Even if you didn't notice any change, you'll still get something out of explaining what you did to somebody else and of course if you're on your own jot down notes take thinking time just take that time to really reflect on what you've done and if it's making any kind of difference if you'd like to share with a wider audience give an adult a nudge they can share to twitter instagram or facebook details are on the screen have a great day today and i will see you tomorrow